So we have unfinished business with another uh, with another chapter to be written for Drew McIntyre, or we might have unfinished business at least for Drew McIntyre to have some business to be settled or a score to be settled with the Irish Ace. It was time to visit the Viper instead of going back to the Irish Ace. As we don't visit with Randy Orton enough, in my opinion. And now the Viper goes for a cover. Randy unquestionably is one of those people, like we saw with The Rock and... Or like we saw with, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Hulk Hogan. Like we saw with Hulk Hogan, like we saw with Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, and other legends... It's just people, it's just among the people that we have not fought. That we don't work with, that we don't play with, that we don't hang out with. You know, and McIntyre could use all the momentum he can going into another match with the Irish Ace. But again, the biggest conversation is not McIntyre and Jordan Devlin. It is... Tommaso Ciampa and Roderick Strong because the question was open, the question was there. If the requirement is met, if the expectation is met, then we will see a hell in a cell between, uh, between Ciampa and Roddy Strong for the NXT Championship. Ciampa got Goldie back, but the only question is, is, can the Messiah of the Backbreaker, well, can he keep it? Can he keep Goldie? And we jump back to McIntyre and Randy Orton as McIntyre gets dropped vintage Randy Orton style with that Backbreaker. Like only Randy can do when he drops an elbow off the top rope. Test would be shades of test with that big elbow drop off the top. And he gets a two count on that little repress. And here comes the Garvin stomp. Taking a page out of Ronnie Garvin's book with this one. The methodical nature of the Viper is one we would only see from Randy Orton. Larry takes down McIntyre. Randy with, a mount, with some mounted punches. We saw the rivalry, we saw the back and forth develop between Drew McIntyre and the Irish Ace during the tournament to crown the number one contender to fight Edge for the world championship. And McIntyre fell victim to the Irish Ace who had all the momentum in the world going into it as Randy dropped him with the RKO and Randy... No, McIntyre kicks out, McIntyre pops the shoulder up and I think I wasn't the only one that was surprised. I think, I think McIntyre and Randy were both just as surprised as I was. McIntyre, leg sweep, takes out the legs of Randy Orton. He went for a, he went for a kick, did, did McIntyre. Randy reverses him and sends him, sends him shoulder first into the corner. Randy gets, boot, uh, gets a boot right to the mush. And a lariat that almost beheads Randy Orton from the uh, from the Scottish Warrior. Now Randy takes down McIntyre with a leg sweep, and he goes right back to the backbreaker. If I said it once, I say it a thousand times. Vintage Randy Orton with that backbreaker, a beautifully executed power bomb by McIntyre. And Randy kicks out at the count of one. Another ladder of press by McIntyre. Randy takes the opportunity to get some distance, but McIntyre doesn't give him that distance, and McIntyre gets sent shoulder first into the barricade. Randy tried to create some distance between him and his opponent, but McIntyre gets sent again into the barricade, and now face first into the barricade goes McIntyre. The Even after all these years, Randy still has one of, if not the most Beautifully executed, beautifully executed drop kicks in the business. Nobody does it better than the Viper. 
such textbook. He's so good at the basics. Is Randy Orton. O'Connor Roll takes down McIntyre. O'Connor Roll takes down McIntyre. And Randy... Randy! Randy Orton got a victory! Randy Orton stole the victory from Drew McIntyre with the O'Connor Roll! Randy Orton somehow, someway stole the victory from McIntyre. You gotta wonder if maybe McIntyre was so wrapped up with the idea of getting a rematch with Jordan Devlin that he is not that he was not focused on his match with the Viper. And that was his first mistake, letting the keeping his guard down with Randy Orton as Randy steals one. Ran, I'm I'm dumbfounded right now. I did not expect to get the victory there with Randy, but either way, McIntyre falls victim to the O'Connor roll. And Randy Orton gets the victory over Drew McIntyre. With that being said, though, that is it for me, and I will see you in the next video.